Game Night. Date Night. Tonight on Game Night, Date Night, Nikki and Mee Lincoln are going to teach and try to play Fast and Furious Highway Heist, a game for two to four players designed by Prospero Hall and published by Funko Games. I really need the NOS. Welcome to Game Night, Date Night. Tonight we're playing Fast and Furious Highway Heist, where we are Dominic Toretto's team of fast racers <laughs> trying to deal with these scenarios. We're doing Tank Assault, which is the one that they recommend to start with. There's actually three different ones. And then they all are able to adjust the difficulty based on how you deal with the stunt deck here. Mm -hmm. But we are maneuvering our vehicles. We're trying to damage this vehicle with Owen Shaw who's stolen a chip and is gonna put it in some crazy <laughs> weapon, I don't know. Something bad's gonna so happen. So he's racing away with the chip inside of this fast moving tank. And he's got these SUVs around him uh, protecting him. Yes. And we are doing our best to slow it down without actually trying to take over the tank. All we're right. trying to do is damage it. Right. Um, which is a lot more challenging than you think. Yes. We are starting here with eight damage on this vehicle because it's a two-player game, but it can go all the way up to 12. Yes, for a four-player. Nikki, why don't you get into how the game works? Okay. Um, in this game, we are going to choose our characters. There's m multiple characters from the Fast and the Furious... Series? Franchise, yeah, yep. uh, and you can also choose the type of vehicle you want your character to drive. Uh, there are abilities on the character and abilities on the car, so a good mix of abilities will help you with driving the car, fast movement, um, defense, and athletics, which is all listed here on the card. So right now, with my combination for speed, I have a, a four movement. Okay. And that goes down the list. Um, you're also going to start off at eight for the... Um, the damage. I want yeah, to say yeah. health of your yeah. car. Yep. The damage on your car. So right now, we're driving some pretty pristine, nice new cars. Uh, we also have this peg on our player board. This is us. Right now, we are driving our vehicle. So the peg stays on our player board and not on our two cars. If we hop out of the car, for reasons I'll explain later, this peg will go onto our car. And it could also end up on the enemy uh, SUV cars as well. Or the tank. Or the tank. But right now, we're going to leave it right here. Um, there are ways to take over the bad guys' cars, SUVs, and that is what this little under light token, under light yep. token is. So if we were to take over an enemy vehicle, we would place that under there, and now we know it's the orange player's uh, is driving that vehicle. In addition to that, on our board, we also have these two tokens, which are boost tokens. You're going to start out with two at the very beginning of the game, and you have space for three, and you can gain them through dice rolls and other, other things in the game. Okay. All right. So as Lincoln was saying, um, in this particular scenario, we are going after this tank. We're not going to fire at it with guns or anything like that. But it's a what, tank. What, but, what are guns have to do with what it? What we are going to try to do is get these enemy vehicles to fall over in front of the path. To get wrecked. In front. Wrecked. Yeah. Fall over, fall you over. know. Um, to get wrecked in front of this tank. And then when the tank is moving forward, because everything's always moving forward, um, it'll take one hit of damage when it runs into vehicles, including our vehicles, which could possibly get yeah. wrecked during the game too. Most likely, I would Most imagine. Most likely. Yes. <laughs> One thing to definitely point out is this stretch of road is perpetual. It is always moving forward. So if a car goes backwards, it's not really going in reverse. It is slowing down. Sure. And that's important for some of the rules of movement and slamming into each other and all of that sort of thing. We also have these dice which Lincoln and I will be rolling for our results on doing spe specific actions during the game. This green die is for the enemy, so it is the enemy die. And the enemy die has totally different icons than, than ours does. Um, some of the boosts, which is the same as the token I was showing same you. Same symbol, yeah. Symbol, um, are just by themselves, but some of them also have a hit 
point right. on them for goals. And also to point out is some of them are completely blank, which is not good either. Yep, and then there's some with two. That and there's a, some with two. Yeah. There's two plain boosts and one boost with a, a with a, a, a success is what I'd say. They're not necessarily hits, okay. but yeah, with a success on it. Uh, some of the cards that are going to be turned up might require us to put more enemy vehicles on the street, which are these SUVs. I imagine it's a highway. <laughs> a highway. And also, um, the enemy also has enemy pegs as well that we might need to place. Oh, I thought there were handles to move the game. Well, it does these make it easy ones. to move. Yeah. Um, I should also say that what we've got set up here is the recommended setup for this particular scenario and the tank assault board is out showing um, the tank rules and on the back side it shows the setup and how to place your vehicles and which ones have men in them or not. See if I can get it right back over. Pretty good. The eight. There is the enemy deck, and this is going to come out at the end. Everyone's going to take a turn. One turn. I'll take a turn, and we will roll the enemy die, and then possibly a card will come out from the enemy deck. Right, and then I do the same after my turn. Yes. What do the cards have on them? The cards have two things on them. This particular card is Rampage North. And when you do this, turn it over, the very first thing you are going to do is the top half of the card, and it activates immediately. That's when it comes into onto the board? And that's when it comes onto the board, you will do the top half of the card. As we get more cards, it'll slide down, and when it gets to this orange activate, you will, if there is anything to do, do the bottom half of this card. Or the red portion, since it's the less red, than, it's less the than red half, portion. but yes. And we'll go over each one of these as they come up. Because we're going to have to deal with them we're right then. We're going to deal with them. Yep. So you, you shuffle that deck. Okay. Um, some other variables in the game are the um, stunt cards. And the stunt cards come in levels of one, two, and three. There are extra stunt cards that you take out, so you have a little bit of a random idea of what's going to come up. There's three level ones, three level twos, and there's always one level three, and it's always going to be the same uh, it's in some every variety, but tank, it, tank <laughs> version. Right. It's some variety, but it also yeah. ad adjusts the difficulty of the game, right? The difficulty of the game can be adjusted according to this table right here in the rule book. And for these, you stack them one, two, three, level. And the first card will come out here onto the player board and we will read what each one of these does as we go along. Some of them will give you a boost if you do this action and it is an action. So on your turn you have two actions. You can choose the basic actions that I'll go over here on the reference card or you can choose this, uh, this as one of your actions. If you do do this, you would then take... If you succeed. Success, if you succeed, yeah. you will then take this onto If you have your space for it, right. Board. If you have yeah. space for it. Again, it's there's only three for that. Room for three. And again, I'll get into... Um, the details on the card in a minute. Now our ultimate goal is to bring the damage of the tank to less than one. So right. we got one here. So once it falls off the track. We have succeeded. Yeah, we have Sweet. succeeded. And we can do that by taking up to two actions on our turn. Lincoln, why don't you go over the actions? Sure. So driving is you're going to go the maximum up to the maximum speed that you have. On Nikki's here, we see that she has four movement. I have four as well, but mine are divided two under Han Sol O's uh, characteristics, but in addition to because they got this exotic supercar. And you are allowed to move up to 
four, uh, well, however many there are, but in my case, I can move up to four spaces. And those can be everything around, all the eight spaces around the vehicle are adjacent. Yes. So I can move to any space adjacent. Now, obviously, I can't move into where another car is, but I can diagonally go like this. That's one movement. And I can also move straight. This is going east. There's another movement. There's another movement. And then there's my fourth movement, if that's the case. You can also navigate between vehicles. So if it's like this, one, two, three, and then I do my fourth move, I can jet in between the two yeah. vehicles. I'm just waiting for them to drift apart. And then I can end <laughs> my turn there. Of course, I'm, I'm asking for trouble being immediately adjacent to vehicles, but you need to do that to be able to do some of the actions that you're hoping to do. Um, on the drive action, there is no roll of the dice necessary to do uh, to do that action. Then the other action is an athletic. I, I said that with drive, that's related to your speed yes. on the top. The leap is based on your athletic ability. So in Nikki's case, she has two, and I also have two with Han. She's Dominic Toretto, by the way. Um, doesn't she look just like him? Shh, totally. So with that, it does not require a roll as well. You can leap up to two spaces. So if my... Vehicle is here, one, two spaces. My, I can immediately, t in the leap action, I can either jump out of the car and, on top of my car, whether it's the hood or the... Uh, Wherever there's a little peg hole. Right, the roof. But I can also leap out of my vehicle up to two spaces away on top of another vehicle. Yeah, okay. And then, of course, that would let me do something like uh, brawling if I want to. But I don't necessarily have to engage that guy. I can, yeah. I can go directly into the vehicle. Okay. After, I mean, and that's in uh, uh, hijacking the enemy's SUV, which is another action. Another thing we can do, which obviously you need to be in control of your vehicle to do, is ram an enemy SUV. So if it's immediately adjacent, you're going to do this anywhere around here, right, is immediately adjacent. But you're going to only do that. There's no movement. But when you do that, you're going to need to roll based on your speed. Okay. That many dice. So I would be able to roll four. And I would need three successes. All right. The number so, in the green. Correct. And, you know, four dice is quite a bit, but, mm -hmm. you know, it's possible to not make it. And man car means you are actually driving. Driving, your yeah. Peg you got, your peg is, is not, in the position, exactly. Yeah, it's on the board, on this board, your player right. board. When you've successfully rammed the vehicle, it's going to immediately turn over. Mm -hmm. And the enemy peg that is on it would go on top of my vehicle. Okay, because you're the active player. Right, and it's closest adjacency, but it's always going to target the uh, active player. Now, in this case, it's rough for me because potentially if the die roll is the, the movement, uh, the, pl the player pegs, he's going to damage my vehicle. Okay. The other thing that I need to worry about is being behind this vehicle on my turn, at the end of my turn, means that I could be destroyed. So mm -hmm. I would definitely w want to move out of the way if I were going to do this. So it wouldn't want to be my second action. There are some ways to, you know, obviously I could flip a vehicle, you know, ram it adjacent to me, mm -hmm. and then it wouldn't have that problem. But so then I would want to be, make sure to be out of the way so that it doesn't destroy my vehicle. It's immediately demolished and it's out of the game. Then we have force. Force is interesting because it can maneuver these enemy vehicles so that you can do some of your actions. If you successfully do it, you use control, which in my case is four, and I would roll four dice, and I would need three successes. I think I said I need three success successes yeah. with the uh, ramming. Uh, of course, that's related to speed. When you do that, now see, my character has three base control plus one because he's got mm -hmm. such a fantastic exotic supercar. When it happens, you can move it up to two spaces, any way you want, Adge you know, immediately adjacent. So I could do something like this. Um, but what's great is I can, once I've done that, my vehicle can, if I choose to, Occupy the space that the vehicle okay. was just in. So that, so like, if I'm pushed it out of this way, uh, and you know, again, I would want to do it in front of the vehicle because I would like to get in front of the tank so that so that it could take damage. But then I could immediately take this space so that I could do a. Uh, well, I could also do the ramming here, uh, just behind it. Okay, well that's force. Then we have shake. Shake is when you have an enemy peg on top of your car. Nikki's character has the added benefit that. She can just perform a shake action without mm -hmm. it taking one of the two actions that she has. That's her character's special ability. Yeah. Dominic Each character, Toretto. yeah, has a special ability. Now, if there's a... Of course, I need to be in the vehicle, so me doing this isn't exactly a good example. But when I do this, 
If I succeed, again, it's up to control. I need to have two successes. This peg, enemy peg, is just taken out and thrown into the supply. Any allied players will stay on the car. I guess they're being telegraphed, hey, this is going to happen. You don't fall off the car. Sure, so um, you were driving yeah, so and we'll have I you there. was the yep. one. Then this would go off and immediately into the supply. Whee. And you know, that's good to get rid of them because you do not want them damaging you. It's definitely a, uh, sure. rough. We want to try to keep our vehicles in as best play, uh, shape as possible for this game because it's going to be an issue. The other vehicles, that t um, which we'll get to here in a moment because we're going to go to uh, Brawl next, but you can hijack another vehicle if your vehicle is damaged. So let's put your peg back. Okay. Next we have Brawl. So brawling was if... <laughs> let me take your peg back and put it back on here. <laughs> All right. If you're on the same vehicle, you can brawl. Brawling is another athletic ability, but this athletic ability requires that you roll. So my athletic ability is two, Nikki's is two. We would only roll two dice and we would need two successes. All right. So that's a little potentially tighter and there's ways in a moment that I'll go over <laughs> that we can, we can do that, but you would roll the dice and I would absolutely need some help here because I only have one potential, which I'll explain that okay. in a few moments. Uh, if you uh, succeed, that peg is dumped, uh, put back into the supply as well. He doesn't really die. Nobody dies. We don't die. We, if we fall off the vehicle, no. we're going to land on the nearest vehicle we right. can. It doesn't even matter if it's beyond our athletic mm -hmm. ability. Yeah, true. Uh, one thing to point out is you cannot have two enemies, enemies. Yeah, that's true. on uh, pegs on a, on a single. Yeah, so when this vehicle flips, yeah. if, there's, if this is on here. Right. So if this enemy was on this vehicle and this, we bumped this to flip this, Nikki's could go here, mm -hmm. but this one could not. So number one, it's full. But if it wasn't, you still can't have two enemy pegs right. on that vehicle. So it would probably, it would leap to this tank since that's within yeah. two, or it's two away. Whatever the next closest is. Right. And here we go. Now I can give you that back. Okay. Let's put this over here. Then we have hijack. Hijacking an enemy SUV is you cannot take over other players' vehicles. You can only go back into your vehicle, which you wouldn't be hijacking. But if okay. I wanted to take over this vehicle and I was my car was so damaged, it was going to blow up in a moment anyway, or if it had mm. blown up and I was leaped to the nearest vehicle, Ta -da. I can then try to hijack the enemy vehicle. Again, this is an athletic action. All right. And I'm going to roll two dice to try to get two successes. Um, if I'm successful... Then I'm going to place this token underneath it to show that I'm in control of this vehicle. Right. This is no longer mine. Once right. I've taken control, this vehicle is permanently unmanned for the rest of the game until it's damaged or sure. it drifts off the back. Yes. When I do that, I flip over this board mm -hmm. to show the stats for the hijacked vehicle. And the unfortunate thing about that is that all the vehicles have a, a special ability, ability as well. That you lose that yes. you will lose when you hijack an SUV. And the SUVs have no special abilities. So if there was any damage, it would reset to eight. And I guess that's, if let's say I left that vehicle, then you took it over, it would go back up to eight. I guess it just is immediately excited that somebody wants to drive that vehicle again. <laughs> it's and just heals. a happy yes. SUV. And then when I do take control, if it was on the other side, uh, it's once it's flipped over, I go back and then I can actually do all of the actions and I get all the defensive rolls. Right. So we were been talking about like taking damage. When you take damage, you are going to roll the total value that you have for defense. Sure. In my case, right now, I have three, but mm -hmm. with my base vehicle, I actually only have two. So it's a challenge. I, oh. I can easily be damaged. That's yeah. Um, it's not it's not it's not a guaranteed uh, safe uh, result from these accidents. Your car's accents. squishy. Well, and, uh, and we'll <laughs> talk a few mo in a few moments what my special ability is, which it's critical that it's in the top two positions for me to gain that benefit. Then we have the final action that you can take on your turn, besides the stunt, which we'll get to in a moment. That is you take a boost token. If you take a boost token, it is the, the end of your turn. If it's the first thing you've done, your turn is over. Mm -hmm. So you, you want to try to time that to be the last thing you do, if you have anything else you can do. Right. Then we also have the stunt. The stunt will come out, and if we decide to do it, we need to sometimes work together based on location. We're also gonna have, as Nikki had said earlier, we're gonna have one of these boost tokens. If we succeed in doing it, and in this example here, Chain Reaction needs to have three successes in speed, um, then you would get to take that token if you have space. 
Uh, these are actually pretty great because they inflict damage in additional ways besides flipping a vehicle in front of right. the tank. So trying to do these stunts are, are pretty good. Yes. Let's look at this card close up. So this is the chain reaction stunt. Uh, for this particular stunt, it is plow into an enemy SUV, causing it to wreck another enemy SUV. And then it'll show like a, an example or a diagram of what has to occur for that chain reaction to happen. Right, the, the, the configuration it needs to be, so yes. be in. Okay. So the condition of this card is uh, your manned player vehicle, meaning that the peg is on your player board, not um, stuck into the car. On top of the car, yeah. Yeah, on top of the car. And or more enemy SUVs are in a straight line in any direction. Okay, so it doesn't necessarily need to be diagonal. It can be, they can be lined up like this. Right. Okay. Of course, this is a bad scenario because I would be in that vehicle, in the wrong vehicle. But if yes. it were like this, <laughs> well, that's fine. Cool, okay. All right. But it could also be like this. Well, it can't be like that because that would be in the back of the tank, which we can't do. But there you can do something like that. Or it can be adjacent like this, right? Straight. Right. Cool. The card's also going to show you um, what you're going to have to roll the dice for. For the success, yeah. So this particular one, you will be rolling for speed, and your success will be three. And then it'll tell you your reward if you pass that, that if you die succeed. roll. Okay. This particular reward is um, the furthest enemy SUV becomes a wreck and is tossed up to two spaces in any direction. Nice. Uh, if the wreck lands on an enemy SUV, remove the enemy SUV and leave the wreck there. Cool. Boy, that would be great yeah, if you could fling it in front of the tank. It, well, here we go. If the wreck lands on a tank, the tank takes one Ooh. damage and the wreck is removed. I like that because you don't have to wait for the chance that the tank might maneuver out of the way of that damaged vehicle. And... I think I said this before, but I'm not sure. Um, you will have three rounds of play to actually do this one. Once right it, before it falls and off. And then another one will come up, and another one will come right. up, and they just slide down before it falls off. Boy, you kind of want to do those, especially yeah. if you're going to inflict damage. Oh, sure. One thing we didn't mention, though, is adjacent. We mentioned adjacency here, but yes. this vehicle takes all four of these spaces. So its adjacent stuff is these spaces around it, these 12 spaces that yes. go all the way around here. And then uh, the tank assault shows what its oh, yeah, adjacency right is. And shows orange is the yeah. actual shape of the vehicle, or how yes. much space it takes. We keep mentioning the boost tokens, but we haven't really explained what they do. On my turn, if I am doing a roll and I have, let's say I need um, three passes. Successes. Successes yeah. to, to complete whatever it is. Lincoln if he has a boost token, can cash one in to let me take two more dice. dice. Yeah. Then I would be rolling with five dice to, to hit. But I cannot give myself right. a boost to give myself more dice. Right, but you have a use for the boost. If but you... I do have a yep. use for the boost. If I roll, and it's a terrible roll, and I have no successes or one or two successes, if it lands on this boost icon, I can turn the boost token in and make all of the boost symbols on the die a success. Nice. So then it would just go. I mean, you don't Whatever. you don't have to flip it, but that would do that. So yeah. what happens if it's um, this? If it has the pip on it, it becomes two successes. Nice. And so this would be a total of five then at this point right. if we did that instead of just three. Right. Again, it has to have this symbol on it. If my terrible roll was, was yeah. I don't know, this and that wasn't enough, I wouldn't be able to use right, this token it, because it doesn't have a boost symbol yeah, you on that have to die. Have them up. Okay, cool. So fix a roll. I can play on myself. Give me more dice. Uh, one of the players right, on the team do, has I can, yeah, to give you. Yeah, the team you. can do that. Cool. Once I've completed my two actions, 
I would flip over my board just to indicate that I am exhausted, I am done with my turn, and this really helps you know what the next move is. Because before it goes to Lincoln's turn, we are going to roll the die for the enemy turn. Okay. So I'm just going to roll it and we'll see what comes up. Start with that one then. And we'll see what happens. Hey! Woohoo! You're talking about enemies. So the skull means that we're going to reveal an enemy card. So we would turn it over like it, we explained and then you would do the top half of the card immediately. It'll go into the top position number one. And on successive turns, if we have to take out another enemy card, it will move, move down. Right, and then the other one would come into track. And the other one would come into the track on the number one position. When a card reaches the activate, the red number three section, you will do this activation first, then you will turn over the next enemy card. Right, and then do its top part. And do its top part. Okay, how about this one? That one is, two things are going to happen. You are going to move the tank south so there's this compass if you hadn't noticed earlier at one space so it's just going to go this way and if it hits anything you will deal with what it hits so for example if this was like this sure you would have it would hit these vehicles Ooh. and inflict damage on our vehicle, yes. four we, damage for hitting that. which is four damage we and, get four damage and you would get to roll hit. your defense like I said earlier, I only have two defense in the base mode of Han Solo. Han Solo. <laughs> anyway, um, but I, could I, I wonder give if that's you actually a, a character in the game. I don't even. I mean, in the movies, I don't I know. know. I'm, I've only seen a few of them. But if it's blocked, if there's too many vehicles, mm -hmm. it cannot move. Right. So it needs to have some room to be able to take over this space because I believe what's happening is these guys are. Well, no, it's hitting these, so it's not yeah. just getting out of the way. But um, that's how that moves in that direction. And then we would also do one of these cards, right? An, right. Another enemy there's card. There's a skull that came up, so you'd do another enemy card. Okay, and those don't run out, right? They just reshuffle and come yeah. back in if we if we happen to uh, yes. keep burn through them that quickly. <laughs> I think it'd be pretty terrible if they came up that, that fast. Okay. What about this face? I'm gonna go to exactly the opposite one that would be uh -oh, similar. Uh -oh. Here they go. So that would be move the tank north, right. one space, and flip an enemy card. Okay. What about this one? It's like a test. I know, yeah, I know. You know um, what you're doing. That is going to be moving the SUVs. Yeah, and when that happens, any vehicles next to it, it's going to damage any adjacent vehicles, any adjacent as any of these spaces around it. If it's here, it's all the way around. Um, it's going to damage any adjacent vehicle with three. It's going to deal Ooh, three, three damage, and then you get to roll defense against that as well. Okay. Uh, or it moves one space towards the active player. So let's say... I ended my turn in the starting place. It would move back. It would move back one space towards me, or if it was ahead of this, it would move one space towards me. Ah, okay. Now this car, you, the way you resolve these is you start on the top and move down each row. So this one would do this. This one would then hit the vehicle because uh, you know this one wouldn't do anything except mm -hmm. move towards the vehicle. Okay. This one would hit, and then this one move towards the uh, to the active player. Additionally, if there are no enemy SUVs on the board, we will then bring another enemy SUV and it goes directly behind the manned vehicles. Oh, so okay. even if it's a manned SUV, it, the, the new vehicles would come on the board and go directly behind it. How many SUVs would come out then? One behind each active, each active, active player's player. vehicle. We have one last die face that we haven't dealt with. Mm -hmm. What is that? That guy, um, he's the enemy peg. He is going to damage if there's nothing to damage. If he's on the vehicle, yeah. If there's nothing to damage, he's gonna brawl. With another guy, okay, let's see. With another player. You're gonna put. <laughs> You're gonna just set I'm gonna up be the on scenario. There. Yeah. All right, okay. hey, we're gonna fight. Of course, I won't die if he knocks me off. I'll just land on my vehicle, but. Or he's gonna move to an adjacent player's vehicle. Okay, so then he would jump on my car. The, the, right. It would try to be on the active player, but if there's no, right. if it's no active, uh, if there's no active player right. near it, then so, it would go to the, uh, the other player's vehicle okay. if it's close. So it's damage, if it can't do that, it's brawl. Right. If it can't do brawl, it's, it's going to leap to somebody's move, car. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that's all for the um, die faces on the enemy die. Once you resolve that, then it'll be the next player's turn.
to take two actions and hopefully take out this tank or get it oh, it's hurting. Gonna, it's going to be a lot of damage. But then we also roll this, and then the final thing we do is the end of round, where we're going to move all the wrecks. So a wreck, it's it's going along here while this is happening, but as soon as that, that I think I mentioned it earlier, at the end of the round, all wrecks are going to move four spaces to the west. So this vehicle behind this will hit this. Yes. Will hit this, and it goes one, two, three, bam. So if one of these vehicles was still in the vicinity, it would leap on the adjacent vehicle. Oh, okay. If not, sure. if there's nobody nearby, then it goes into the supply. Oh, all right. But then this is, this is damaged, and I believe this vehicle stays there. So the damaged vehicle is going to keep going back. It'll move another four spaces at the end of the next round, and then off okay. the board. And, that, and the one that was driving... Is, is damaged and removed from the board, yes. It's completely removed yeah, from the board. Yeah, it's smashed into it and okay. it's over. Then we're also going to move all the unmanned vehicles one space to the west. So right now, these are all occupied. Unless we are in it, I mean, unless we have it uh, under our control and we aren't driving, then it would move back one. Oh, if, okay. For example, if we left this vehicle to jump on here to deal with something and we hadn't moved back, mm -hmm. this is going to drift back one space. Sure. It doesn't, I mean, it keeps moving. I don't know why I put the, uh, the I SUV know. there, but... Um, it it's keeps moving slower. along. Yeah, it's a little slower just because the guy, you know, the super speedy to uh, to move here, his foot is not on the accelerator. Because you set it to 100 and it's doing nothing I guess we're using cruise control? Yes. Okay. <laughs> what if cruise control can go that high? Probably can. And then the final thing we'll do is we'll move the stunt card. We'll reveal the next stunt card and then move everything down one. There's a few things about uh, on this scenario sheet for this specific tank assault. So, for example, if this tank was here and we had something like this, and this was tipped. When this pushes, the, the vehicle moves, this is removed and no damage is dealt. Okay. So it gets rid of the wreck. I guess it flies off the road. Sure. You gotta make it tumble. Right. And it moved back in the position it needed to be. The other thing is that there's a tank firing. When one of these enemy cards come into play, mm -hmm. I believe it's either come into play, but it may be when it's activated, it's gonna shoot at any of the adjacent vehicles that are not immediately adjacent. So okay. these positions here are safe because you're underneath the gun, but these vehicles, if they were our vehicles, okay. could be shot. And I they was going to say, did he, did he, is he shooting at his own bad guys? No, he doesn't, which would be great. Like, he's, <laughs> he's just willy-nilly shooting. But it will deal three damage, Ay. and you can roll to defend against it. Okay. But any of the ones immediately under, which is right adjacent here, uh, are safe. I say because it's under the, the gun barrel sure. turning. The other thing is is we're basically trying to get Rex into the tank to hit the, to hit yeah. it to take damage. That's going to be our main way of doing it. And then the second, sometimes even more effective way is to perform these stunt, stunt actions. Yes. Um, there's some interesting ones that can do a lot of damage. It just takes a lot of maneuvering. And we only have two players, so yeah. it might be difficult to do. Before we start playing, let me point out how the game could possibly end. There are three possibilities. One is we get the tank damaged all the way off of the tank assault board, so lower than one. The other way is the level three stunt. When the level three stunt card comes up and we perform it successfully. Well, we have three, three rounds to do that yeah. before it's gone, right? Yeah. So one, two, three. And we perform it successfully, then we have won the game damaging the tank. Okay. The last way the game can end is if the level three stunt moves off the track. Off the board, okay. Yes. Okay, so yeah, we need to try. I mean, it's basically a Hail Mary, I think, on that, in that sure. one anyway. It's, it, I, I, I don't know, we'll see. I th it's always the same. The level three one is always like a, if everything else has failed, you might be able to do this and succeed. Right. So there's always a chance. Okay, well, I think we can take turns. We just alternate. Yeah. We don't have to always do it, but why don't you start, no. flip your exhausted board over. I sh and also I should say that the um, turn order is not always... Yeah, that's what I was just saying. You can so, do whatever we want. Yeah, whatever is going to work well um, Hopefully. to take out yeah. this tank. <laughs> sure. Okay, well, why don't you go first? All right. We, need, we should reveal the first stunt. Sure. First stunt. Chain reaction. Which is the chain reaction. Ta -da. Okay, yep, we know how that one works. <laughs> So we put a boost that out. Yep. on there. 
One thing is that we can perform this the the stunt as many times as there are tokens on the uh, on the the stunt card. Right now, this one only has one, but there are some cards that have two boost tokens, so we can do that action twice if we do it before it leaves the board. Why don't you go ahead and go first, Nikki? I think the first thing I just need to do is drive. Oh, we should also say what, what, what our special abilities yes. are. We should say what our special Han Solo and exotic supercar are, but go ahead and you go first with Toretto. Dominic is a quarter mile at a time. Whenever you attempt a skill roll, you may re-roll one die one time. Nice. So that's for him. Let's not forget that. I don't know, I know. that when we, demo, when we played this the first time we did it I don't like think that. we did. And then my street drift drifter, the car, oops, is lose them fast. On your turn, when your street drifter is manned, you may attempt one shake action that does yeah, not count one. as one of your That's two pretty fantastic. actions. So essentially it's a third action if I want to shake someone off my car. Cool. Uh, Han Solo is... Outmaneuver. Whenever you take a drive action, after you end your movement, you may swap positions with an enemy adja uh, adjacent enemy SUV, which is pretty great. And then exotic supercar uh, is release the beast. Uh, while your exotic supercar's strength is seven or eight, so up here in the beginning of my uh, my strength, I can add one success to either my speed or um, hmm. control checks. So anything that uses that to check it. So for example, we have speed check would be ram an enemy SUV, forcing would be a, a control, shake would be control, and that is that. The rest don't need any more die rolls. So we just need to keep this car in perfect shape the whole time. So go ahead and go, Nikki. What do you yeah, want to sure, do first? Right. <laughs> I think I have to drive. I have to get up close to something to do something to it. Um, so I will drive, which is, um, I have four drive, so four spaces. Let's see. Three. And you don't have to take all of your Correct. drive. You right? could you could do like a thing where you push him into the vehicle. A uh, force? Not into the vehicle, but you can force him close to the tank. Essentially in front of the tank is what you want, but it's going it, to you can't do that. It's it can only move two away from it. So you could at least get it ahead of you. Up. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to move 1 2 Three. Okay. And then I am going to force. Okay, so you need so three successes. So I need three, three successes and I can only roll three dice. So you need three. Um, uh -huh. Should we, should we spend, let's save the tokens. Let's, Do you want to save them? Yeah, it seems okay. like that's probably. Hey, Okay, I well you two. can spend one I, to make sure that happens. I can spend one and make it into. Okay, so that would give you five uh, successes. Is that so, worth it right now at the beginning of the game? I don't know. I don't sort of don't feel like it is. Except you're immediately adjacent to that vehicle, which if the the uh, and you're gonna there's two chances to roll that in this turn. It it doesn't matter, right? You can do what you want. It will still move towards you. Um, if it's immediately adjacent to you, it's gonna deal damage. But if let's say you pushed it here, then you have a chance of not taking damage from the SUVs. All right, let's do it. Okay. Boom. So I moved that for you, but you should yeah. decide where you want it to go. Well, he's gonna get hopefully rammed by his own guy, and then I take his spot. Okay, I'm yeah. Out of the yeah the range of that. That's supposedly. great. Supposedly. Okay, so that's the end of your turn. Yep. Now we roll this die. Oh, I gotta do. Yep. My exhausted. Exha I'm exhausted. I know. Hey, it's actions. So they can't damage. Mm hmm They can't brawl, but they can move. Yeah. So I don't think they're going to go anywhere because there isn't an adjacent player vehicle. This is a little bit too far. Yeah. I mean, it's. I think it's way far because I think we only have the ability to jump a bunch of distance because yeah. of our athletic ability, athletics ability. Okay, so then I guess it's my turn. Let's take those out of there. So you know what I think I'm going to try to do, Nikki? I think I'm going to try to set myself up for chain reaction maybe sure. on the next turn. Now, you could potentially do the same thing. But what I'll do is I'll move three... I'm going to do exactly like you did here. Three, mm -hmm. which I don't have to roll for that. Then I'm going to take force so I can roll three dice because uh, I have, oh no, I have four in control. I, yeah, you're more controlled driver than me. Oh, has three right off the bat in his ex exotic supercar. Makes it easier for him to have even more control. So I'll roll these four dice. Those exotic supercars. Yep. 
Hey, and I've got three, so that's a success. I will force this here. And then I'm going to move into the position that he... Was in? Yeah, right here. So that means I won't get damaged if it, if it does, if I get the vehicle movement one. Right. And that was my two, so let's try this. Hey, it's the tank. Eek. He's going to move one. North. Okay, well that's okay. And we get an enemy card. We certainly do. First one, the meat grinder tank escorts. Place an enemy SUV in each of the two spaces be directly behind the tank. Oof. Oh I'm, boy. I'm pinned in there with some of that. Each? So, yeah. So it's two. We're getting yeah. two. Yeah, that's good though. We need them. Goodness. Problem is, is when the next time we roll a damage for that, I'm going to take some damage. Yes. Um, you, you're getting caught in the. Yeah, I'm, ma I'm making a, a crazy you web. You got to get out of there. Oh, you know, I didn't exhaust, but just to show, we should have done that. Yeah. Then we have the end of round. We move all the wrecks four spaces, which there are none, and then any unmanned vehicles, which there are none this round, and then we move the stunt cards. Dun da da da. And reveal the next one. Grappling hook. Pull a vehicle or wreck closer to you with a grappling hook. Target an enemy SUV, player vehicle, or wreck within three spaces of your uh, of your manned player vehicle, and then if you succeed, you need three control. You need three successes on control dice. So, you know, however many control mm -hmm. you have. Uh, you get to place the target in any space adjacent to your player vehicle. So all those eight spaces around your vehicle. Okay. That's cool. Okay, mm -hmm. so I maybe should go first. To We can do the grappling hook twice. Maybe I should go first just because I got so many vehicles around me and I'd like to... Yeah. You... The problem is I don't think I can... You need to go before they move and potentially... Sure, my problem is, is I'm going to... Damage the vehicle. Oof. Now with that vehicle over here, I, I have some real trouble. Oh wait, I can do chain react, uh, chain reaction. That was what I was going to set up to do. I'm going to do that. Okay. So I will move. Sure. Now you're correct. There's right. a line of cars. Now I'm going to try to damage three sp on the speed. I can roll three dice. Mm -hmm. And the goal is it will damage one of the vehicles. Let's see here, actually. Let me read this real carefully. The furthest enemy, v SUV, enemy SUV becomes a wreck and is tossed up to two spaces in any direction. So that could throw it right in yes. front of the vehicle. Okay. In front of the tank. Yeah, in front of the tank. Which, we mean, which means to me we should put it here. Mm -hmm. So that if it moves, it will still be in front of the tank. That's thinking down the way a little bit here. But well, that's what you should be doing. Yeah. Oh, wait. It, what are we talking about? It what? can immediately go on the tank. And immediately deal one damage. We definitely want to do this. It'll go on. You can yes, you can it have it land tank? on the tank. Yes. But it's not taking its full movement. Doesn't matter. Is that okay? This okay. is doing the chain reaction, right? Mm -hmm. So now I need to succeed. I cannot. I, I have four dice that I need to roll on speed. And turn your card over. Oh, yeah. So we're, still we're no over longer. Here. Yeah. We're on the new round. Yep. And do you want my help? Um, it's going to only add one die. I have four dice. All right. Well, it's. I mean, I move, I have so some. Just... I know. And I need three successes. So let's see if I can pull it off. Maybe not. Come on. Hey, I got, I've got it, though. Three successes. You, you can't do? see that. I yep. can't see that one, okay. but three. Cool. So I'm going to... This car, it's going to be the one in the front, flips and hits the tank. And that's off the board. And that... One damage? Yep. One damage. Ooh, we're down to seven. And I get this uh, boost token. Okay. You can see I'm adjusting them to, to be the angle that the board has. <laughs> Um, now it's the end of my turn because I moved to do that position, which is rough. I'm going to be right there with a bunch of things and I'm going to roll this die. I, I could lose my vehicle this turn. Oh wait, I can swap positions. Uh, I don't want to do that, but I could, like it could put, pull me out of the way. If I, uh, move, I can swap, um, positions with a, an adjacent vehicle, which might be helpful to me, um, to get out of the way but it's after you take the drive action. So, let's roll this, see what we get. Hey, it's the guy. So he's gonna jump on my car. Yeah, that's the first. Yep. Uh-oh. Well, because it's the first thing that happens, damage, it won't have yeah. damage my car. Okay, well that's better than it could have been. Yes. These things could be damaging me. Sure. So it is now your turn. Oh boy. I didn't really get myself out of a... a Pickle. Yeah, dangerous <laughs> situation, but yeah, at least we got one damage on the we tank. We got one damage on the tank, that's a good thing. Okay, so that just for me, now yeah. now I can't choose Correct. to do this. Okay. Right. You can do grappling hook twice, which 
I think that would be the next thing we need to do is like damage these vehicles. I guess I'm gonna have to uh, nudge and damage. We need some damaged vehicles for grappling. Grappling hook. hook, yeah. But we can do that twice. We should try really hard. I think I'm gonna move and then try to ram again. Yeah, the downer is, is this isn't in the place that you'd hoped, right? It's mm -hmm. now moved. Gosh, you could do chain reaction though. But of course it's moving that two spaces. But it's I can't, not so great. Yeah. I know, I know. I mean that's the risk of like moving back into position stuff. You could be because the tank has a good chance of moving around, it it might uh, fool with your plans, you know? I don't have to move into that place either, so Correct. I could stay out of in that case, harm's you were way, you were possibly. Well, then the case there, you were moving out, you were moving into space to stay to out of harm's way. To stay out of it. Yeah. But I, I'm, I'm thinking about going after this guy. Sure. You can push it right in front of yes. this vehicle. That's what I'm thinking. I'm going to only move one. Yep. And then I am going to do the force. Okay. Cool, that's totally a success. Yeah. So that's going to, do you want to push it directly in front of? Yeah. Because you can put it further ahead How if you want. How many can he move two. when you do, it is two? Yeah. One, two, or two? Yeah, I'm wondering, maybe there's a reason to be that far ahead. It well, doesn't matter, because remember, over yet. Yeah, when it's flipped, it will go four spaces and it will hit, provided it doesn't get out of the way. But I think you've got the right choice there. Okay. And I'm not going to move into his space because I want to stay out of the way of the tank. Okay. Uh, that was my two actions. Yes, I yep. moved and I. Yep, exhausted. We got to remember to flip those boards. Yes. Okay, well, the tank moves south one, and another one of these cards comes into play. Okay. Trouble ahead. Place an enemy SUV two spaces east of each player vehicle. East? Yeah, that's this direction. So there's one right one here. here. Wow, there's, there's a and bunch And another one? And then another one here. Oh my gosh, there's so many SUVs. And then tank fires, and uh -oh. I'm now going to get hit. You are. You're Each not. player vehicle within three spaces of the tank, but not adjacent to it, is dealt three, and I roll my defense. So defend yourself. Yeah, I only got two. So maybe you some... can use the boost to make. They things. have to come up. They have to come up, but do you want me to just because it's early? I don't yeah, want hate you to giving up your yeah. special well, car. Yeah, it's true. Well, okay, there'd be two more. That'd be great. Hopefully, I don't spoil it there. Okay, well then that's enough successes to prevent any damage. Thank you for okay. that, Nikki P. I hope we can get you some more tokens. Okay, so that's the end of the round. Yep. So, I'm going to unexhaust. Yep. It's now end of turn. Any damaged vehicles move. There are no damaged vehicles. Nope. There's a lot of SUVs on the, on the road here. There are a lot of SUVs. It's kind of crazy. So, the stunt cards move down. There's no unmanned play, uh, vehicles first. Yep, now yep. the stunt cards. Okay, yep. sorry. You should do it I was in doing order. each step, yep. And then we're doing clothesline. Mm -mm. Use a cable to wreck and launch an enemy SUV. Condition your manned player vehicle is directly beside an enemy SUV and another player vehicle is on the other side of it. So it becomes a wreck and it's tossed in two directions. So it can land on the tank. That's a fantastic one too that we should take advantage of. But it only, We've only is delivered an SUV? one damage. Yes. Because right now we're on either side of the tank, but yeah, that doesn't work yeah, for the tank. It's got to be SUVs. Kay. Okay. So what do you want to do here? Do you want to go first? Well, we need to make some wrecks, don't we? Yeah. So I could I could go first. One, two, three. One, two, three. Oof. Oh no, and then wreck and then bring it in front. And then you could it's not enough You're though for get grappling hook. Scary. I know it's pinched in there. But the thing is is I could I mean, we're going to take damage. That was just lucky that I, I didn't take any of that previous turn. There's definitely going to happen here. Well, this is, guy is in a great place for me to... And I should be paying attention. i, I got to remember, the release the beast. Anytime I do any of those rolls, I get a, a bump while it's in this position. What I'm going to do is, I think I'm going to try to set it so that you can do the grappling hook. Does it land on... No, it just gets into a space adjacent to you. That, it doesn't wait. I can wreck hmm? this one. One. And get it set up for you. Well, that wrecking that one, all that's going to do is make sure that it will hit the tank. I'm going to drive okay. one, two, three, four. Get in front of this SUV. Yep. And wreck it. Try to wreck it. I'm going to wreck it. So that action's going to be your speed. You, okay. you get to roll four dice. My speed is okay. Yeah. And I need to pass with a three. 
Hey, boom, you got it. Wow. Good I rolls. did. Okay, so that flips that. So then um, your player does not move, and you flip the SUV. Yep. Okay, that's the end of your turn. Yes. You moved and did that. So let's roll the enemy die and see what we got happening here. Hey, it's movement. Well, the first thing that happens is, is the enemies are going to uh, damage adjacent vehicles. They're going to slam into me. So I have two vehicles right next to me adjacent. So first one, let's say this one here, it's going to be... It's going to be three. I get to roll two defense. It's going to be likely I'm going to take some damage here. Okay. This could be enough to almost take me out. But yeah. Hey, that's two. It's not enough. Oh, wait. If I do it, it means I only take one damage. So let's just do that. Okay. So that means I've got two protected. I, I only take one damage. Then I got the other vehicle hitting me. Once again, only two. Hey! Uh, once again, it's going to be, I'm going to do that and just make it one. Down or it's above. I can't repair this anymore. Wish I had had another uh, success on there. Actually, does it matter? No, it doesn't. I'm going to save that and just take the two. Okay. Because I did have one. Okay. I mean, what's the point? If it's not in this range, yeah. it, there's no point in okay. conserving my energy. I should have maybe not wasted the other one. Okay. You should just take the natural defense, right, I think. <laughs> um, so the other ones are going to be moving towards... This can't move. This hit me, because the first thing they do is this. This is going to move one space towards you. This is going to move, move one space towards you, and this moves one space towards you. Okay. You got a whole platoon of vehicles in, behind, behind in, you. Yeah. The nice thing is you can probably do just lots of damage and send them into the vehicle. Uh, so now it's my turn. So first thing I'm going to do is move one, two, three. Okay. I'm going to take the maneuverability here. And switch places mm -hmm. and then I'm gonna go for damaging that vehicle so I get to roll my speed which is four still until this vehicle's gone <laughs> roll that hey look at that that's a whole success. bunch of successes so boom that's flipped over yay yeah let's hope the tank doesn't move so that's the end of my turn I'm exhausted hey look at me I'm actually doing it we roll yay. the enemy t die hey it's movement oh boy so this one's going to damage me. Mm. It's only one. I roll my two de dice in defense. Hey, look at that. Couldn't yeah, I have rolled yeah. that easier? So okay. I'm totally no more damage. Yay. The other ones are going to move towards me. That can't move, but this can. Yeah. This can, for sure. And I guess that's as much as that's going to yeah. do. Yeah. So the first thing we do, thankfully, is these ram into the tank. This Yay. moves four... Crunch. These are gone. Yep, that's one damage. This moves up to four, but it's crunched and gone. I think what the tank's doing is flattening them in this Another case. Another damage. Yep. We've got the tanks down to five now. Yeah, that's still not enough. Then we move all unmanned vehicles, which there are none at this point in time. And then we move the stunt card. So chain reactions off the board. And we add a new one. The new one is Sacrifice Fly. Jump out of your player vehicle and send it under the tank. Woo! Your pl manned player vehicle is directly in front of the tank. Your reward is the tank takes one damage. If you succeed, it's three control die. You need three successes. Well, it's however many control dice you have. I have four, but you would need three successes. And then you'd move your player peg onto another vehicle with an available slot. And then you remove your vehicle and set your vehicle aboard, a, aboard aside. So that's would be like if my vehicle's getting damaged enough that it probably makes it sense. I mean... This just gives me probably some benefits that the other one, the, I don't remember. Wait, you've got, a, no, it's on the other side. We don't need to see it. doesn't matter. We'll figure out when we get there. But anyway, that's Sacrifice Fly. We can do that once if capable, if possible. Grappling Hook, my goodness, I don't know if we're going to be able to both do that. You need to try to do it once. We but we have no crushed vehicles. Cards. Well, you know what? Let me, oh, that's fantastic. If I damage this one, mm -hmm. first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to attempt to ram it. So that's, I get to roll four dice. And the reason why I'm going to do that is it's going to flip it. Mm -hmm. He is not going to be able to jump on a vehicle, so he's going to go back right. to the pool. He has and then I'm going to try to, to shake. We'll see if adjacent, I can pull that off. Right. Yeah. So but my point is then you can put, do grappling hook and bring it in to, right behind you so that it can hit the, the tank if you want to do that. Sure. So here we go. Hey, four successes. So I think Yay. that that is wrecked. There's no place for him to go because I have somebody and he's not immediately adjacent to you. Right. So into the pool he goes. And now I'm going to try to shake this guy from my vehicle, which would be good. You should turn your... 
I should turn mine too. Oh yeah. <laughs> I already did the one thing. Man, I'm terrible. Ah, darn it. Okay, and then for my second action, I'm going to do shake. I only need two successes, but I'm going to use my control, which gives me four dice in this case. Come on. Hey, two successes. He is <laughs> gone, so no damage hopefully from him. Well, Yay. now there would be no damage. Shake, shake, shake. Okay, so that's the end of my turn. We roll the die. Hey, it's a tank, it's a vehicle movement. Yeah. Okay, so that means this one moves one okay. towards me, towards me. Oh wait, we do these in columns, we should do this right. Yeah. So down this way, so this one. Yeah. Then this one. Yeah. That one doesn't move, then this one. Okay. Okay, the reason why that might be important is that one of them might move into a position to block the other one from moving. Oh, I see. Um, actually, does that, that is correct, right? Mm -hmm. That's what happens here. That probably does this. So this doesn't move. Oh, okay. I guess, I don't know, what's closer? Is this closer or is this closer? <laughs> I think that's closer, diagonally yeah. one. Yeah. Uh, well, that messed up my th whole plan. Sure. There's probably some ways to work around it. Okay. Well, here's the deal. I suppose you can move around one, two, three, one, two, three, four, and grapple it to here. Okay. Because eh, either way it could be bad. It, if yeah. it goes north, it's going to get out of the way. You pick what you want to do. I haven't taken any damage yet, so, Th That's you not, know. I mean, yeah, that's a concern, but really what you want to try to do is at least get that overturned vehicle in front of the tank right now so we take right. advantage of another up, uh, overturned vehicle. So if I do the drive movement, right? Mm -hmm. And I go one... Mm -mm, diagonally. Uh, sorry, yes. <laughs> one, two, three, four, yeah. four. You know, if another meat grinder comes up though, that could be bad. That's so maybe true. just do one, uh, just do three. Because that's still within three. One, two, three. You can oh, pull it over next to here. Okay. And then I do try to do the grappling hook. Yep. So that's that's control. How many do you have for control? Only three. Only huh? three. I'm not great. We kind of want to make that happen. Do you want me to toss in a token and give you another that's two? That's up to you. Yeah, go I ahead and do it. I think one of my turns is going to have to be doing nothing and taking a boost eventually well, here. Well, you're going to get one right now if you're able to succeed <laughs> successfully do this. Sure. So now you get to roll four, four. dice. Okay, I was going to say five, but no, that's not true. That is not true. Wow. Yeah, that was pretty bad. Okay. That was that. Okay, well, I can't fix anything, and you, it wouldn't be enough to change. There's two bl blank faces. That's terrible. Uh, one in six wait, on each wait, one wait, of those. Wait, wait. Oh, yeah, you get to reroll. you attempt a skill roll, you may reroll one die. Go for it. One time. The so problem I is you a can't. a blank one, I, it doesn't matter. I don't have a thing. Yeah, just roll the one. Okay, here we go. Come, Come on. Come on, two. Two, two, two. No. No. But uh -huh. if you had a token, which you don't, you could turn into three. Okay. So. And my car is about shaking people off of it. That is correct. So that's it. So you didn't get that. No. Boo. That well, is it is the boo. end of the turn, so flip your card over. Doot. Let's roll the... Roll the enemy die. Hey, it's movement again. Mm. So you're active. So that's going to hit you. These are both going to hit you. So starting with... Uh, it, basically, it's the same thing. We start with this one. It's okay. not going to move any closer because it's not. This is in the way. This is going to move one closer. Th you're going to get hit all over the place. This is well, bad. Well, I can roll the defense, right? Oh wait, no. This isn't going to hit you. This moved. So now these. Yeah, you're going to get to roll defense on this. So first one is this. Okay. So, so roll, roll for roll defense on three that. Three defense. Yep. Well, wow, it's better than mine. I only have two, as we saw. Hey. No. Nope. No tokens to do anything nope. about that. So that's three. Okay. One, two, three. Okay, next vehicle is going to hit you. This one here. I'm going to roll three. I, I don't think I can afford to give up another token now. Hey, there's two. three. Oh, no, that's two. It's two. So I get hit three. Yeah. Three. Wow. I'm down to two. That, yep. that hurt. Oh, well. And then this one doesn't happen. And then the yeah. vehicle's end of the turn. So first thing is four wrecks. One, two, three, four. Boo. One. No, it slid past. Yeah, it did not touch it. Dang. Then any unmanned vehicles, which we don't have any right now, and then we move the stunt card by grappling hook with yeah. your two fantastic boost tokens. Boo. Slide. I'm thinking. Slide. Slippity slide, and then add a new and one. A What's stunt. this one? 
I got uh, anchors away. Anchor a wreck to the tank and give it a jolt. The condition, uh, your player peg is on top of the tank, which is adjacent to a wreck. And that is going to take, um, it's going to take athletics too to do that. But our reward... Success, two, two successes, yeah. Yeah. But our reward will be move the tank one space in the direction of the wreck, remove all enemy SUV, player vehicles, and wrecks that the tank hits. The tank takes one hit. Damage for each one of them. Damage for each vehicle or wrecked vehicle. So it's even if they're not wrecked, the t tank is going to get the damage. That's pretty good. So that could actually potentially come, we could pull it back into this vehicle because it would be coming towards this wreck. Although, what is coming towards the wreck? Is it that or is it that? I think that would be that, but what do I know? Um, well, interesting. Well, we could do something where we bump this into it and then grapple into it. Well, you can't bump the tank. There's no tank bumping. So that's not going to happen. Well, I, it might be time for me to sacrifice my car since I'm down to two anyways sure, sure. and do that. Well, you'd want to get it in front of this. You do this, get on this. Yeah. Do something like that or get in this and then then bump it. But bumping it just flips it. That's the downer. You need to actually like uh, force it. Anyway, so that's that. Uh, we flip our boards. And we decide who wants to go first. It's not too simple here. We do still need to do four, five more damage. And there's, mm, there's still some turns. Clothesline's pretty important. We should maybe, we could do that. You could bump this vehicle and then we could clothesline. Okay. Why don't you just do that now? Clothesline or sacrifice? We'll do that next. Because remember, forcing the vehicle does not damage your vehicle. And we would immediately clothesline this and flip it. Oh, okay. And I think it slings it into the, uh, yeah, we can get it to land on the tank. Let's see what. How what's, much damage does it do? Just one. It's yeah. always just one. Tank's tough. The sacrifice um, fly is also Up to two one. spaces in any direction. So I, I think that's what we should do. You should push this. If you're successful, then, oh, you have to, oh, no. That you can move into the position, right? Because you're forcing it, you mm -hmm. can move into its position, and then you can immediately do the next action, which is the clothesline. Either I can do it or you can do it, but you should, so you can okay. get a, a, a token. I guess they're both take three for success sure. also. Because for this one, all it's I have control, to, though, right? which all is your I have weakest. to do is move here and then roll. Yeah, you need to be out of the, the vehicle, success, though, right? success, no. That's part of your reward. It's because con condition your manned player vehicle is directly in front of the tank. The tank takes one damage. Place your player peg on top of the nearest vehicle with an, an available slot. Remove your player vehicle and set your vehicle board to the other side. Okay. Downer is you Put can't. Me back. <laughs> well. I'm just saying because my car's so damaged, it's sure, an opportunity I agree. to use that one. But, but Sacrifice Phi is going to gonna be, is gonna be around. You could potentially yeah. do that on the next turn. That's true. So let's let's try to clothesline, I think. Okay. So do I need you're, to you're go first yeah, to you're gonna need to. Yeah, you're going to need to. Well, you're going to do it. You're going to do, you're going to force, shove this ahead. Okay. However many spaces, one or two. And then you can take its place <clears throat> so that you're immediately next to this and we can clothesline that vehicle. Okay, let's do it. So... I'm doing force, so which that's... Which is speed, and it's four dice, which is great, because I, I think I'm going to have to give you a die. Force is control. Yeah. Is it control? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Shoot. So that's three. Boy, they're both force. Boo. Okay, well, I can't afford to give you another die for this one. So I think I, I need to, to save it, it for the other three. one. three. Okay. Yeah. Here. If we get to that point. Here we go. Wow, okay. Okay, four. So, that's forced. What do you want to do? One or two? Two gets it kind of far from you, at least. Mm -hmm. And then you can take its place. Yeah. So then the next action is clothesline. Cool. We're in the situation to do that. Yes, we are. And it will, if we're successful, 
which I'm going to give you a <laughs> uh, this. Well, might as well. It gives you a total of five dice to get three successes. Okay. So go for that. Hey, well, there's four successes. Don't need to. Well, Great. I can't. You can't change it. You don't have it. So that's good. It's good anyway. So. Number one, you get that. That's great. Yay. This flips it over and sends it to this vehicle. Oh, it's <sighs> flying backwards. Hey! So it takes another damage. Tank is now at four damage. Yeah, it's still a long way away. Three, we need four more damage. Okay, and that is the end of your turn. Flip yes. your board over. We roll for the enemy die. Hey! He Oops. moves south one and we add a new card. Okay, first we move this meat grinder into the yep. activation zone. What does that do? When activated, which is the red, uh, each player vehicle adjacent to both the tank and an enemy SUV is dealt four damage and you can roll defensive. We're not immediately we adjacent. We are not immediately adjacent. Adjacent to, yeah, we're all right. Okay. So now we flip a new enemy. Yep. What is the top Card? of it? Hey, meat grinder. It's the meat grinder. Is it the same exact thing? Yeah, it's, I think it's just place yeah. two behind. Place an enemy SUV in each of the two spaces directly behind the tank. Well, there isn't one here, so I guess we're okay. That doesn't happen. It's not directly. Well, I think that that's it because it's not immediately behind. There's already no. something in the way. Right. Now it's my turn. Uh, what I'm probably going to do then is this, one, two, th uh, th uh, two spaces total, and then I'm going to flip with this because I'm going to outmaneuver. Mm. Then... That's your thing, right? Correct. Out okay. That's Han Solo's. Um, and then I guess I'll go to damage it. Might as well just flip it so it doesn't hurt me, right? So let's roll... This is ramming. So that's speed. I get to roll four dice. I gotta be cautious because you don't have three control. You don't have four control. I do right now. Hey, <laughs> nothing to solve that. So it is not gonna get flipped. Mm -mm. Okie dokie. Uh, that is the end of my turn. Flip that over. We roll the enemy die. Hey, and there's no people on top of vehicles. Right. Huh. I wonder what gets them back out. I guess it's the, the I think some it's of the cards. Some of the enemy okay, cards. Okay, well, there we go. Um, flip our cards back over. Move any uh, wrecked vehicles. I guess first thing is four, four back. One, two, three, four. It's at the edge of the board. Um, <laughs> then any unmanned vehicles, which we have none right now. And then we move the stunt cards. So close lines out now, which Hey, you got to it's take okay, advantage of it. We yeah, used took it. advantage of it. <clears throat> okay, level two. Stop hitting yourself. <laughs> Cause an enemy SUV to swerve into the tank. Condition: If your player peg is on top of an enemy SUV within two spaces of the tank, use your athletics, and you need two successes. The tank takes one damage. Remove the enemy SUV and place it. Place your pe player peg on top of the tank. If both slots of the tank are occupied, place your player on top of the nearest vehicle to the tank with an available slot. Huh. Your enemy player peg is on top of it within two spaces of the tank. So it could flip. Oh darn, I'm not close. I, I, I guess I could do that, but it's not, it's not within two spaces. But wow, well, it, this could happen, right? Um, but that's tough. Athletics too, right? I only have two dice. We both have only two dice for that. Okay, well, do you want to try to do the sacrifice fly? I think now is the time, isn't because you it? could you could leap on this and then potentially yeah. do anchors away. Yeah. Ooh. Make me the star. I, already, I feel like you're doing more than I am. Um, <sighs> do you want me to go first? Because everything could change. Sure. Right now, or if you're going to get bumped again. It's it's fine. It's okay. What are we going to do? All right. So for this sacrifice fly, you need to be in. I need to be in front of the tank. You don't need to be on top, right, though? That's just, no, you just I, leap out. I leap out as the damage is happening. See, okay. there's... That's pretty acrobatic and cool. Of course. It is Dominic. I don't, I don't think of him as being acrobatic, he though. He is, what do he's I know? only I've, got two. I've only watched a few of them. Okay, so then that means you need to move in front of the tank. Yeah, so your and player then do vehicle is directly or in front fly. of the tank. So I have to move first. Yep. So I just move one, 
two. Yep. Then for my second action, I try to do the sacrifice. Right. So I need to roll control. That's three dice. Yeah, I can't. And help I have you on to that. have a success of three. Correct. So hopefully, I have a boost. Yep. So hopefully, if At least I you might be able to convert some, some of the boosts. stuff for yourself. Hey, three successes three exact. without even monkeying around. Yay. So goodbye, dr straight yeah. drifter. So he's bangs into this and causes one damage. And he's off, I guess. So I would say. And my person then, leaps out and, simultaneously yeah, right onto that. and well lands that. on the tank. Yep, okay. And I get this yep. for doing that. Awesome. And that's the extent of your turn. Yes. So here we go with this. Oh, let me. This mess. Yep, you're out of a vehicle. I'm out of a vehicle. Actually, ve that, vehicle you also need to flip sad. your vehicle too on my top of that. My vehicle was down to two health, anyways. So now I'm just driving. Well, no, you actually I'm don't. Not. Have, yeah, you don't have anything. I have so. nothing. What do Remove I do it with this? Okay. For now. And then I will roll this. Hey, another Ink. card. Meat grinder. Oh no, it's now break job. Okay, so that goes <sighs> this away. This happened. Oh no, no it's already that done. happened. Yep. Now, when activated, each player vehicle with an enemy SUV directly in front of it is dealt four. Okay, well, I'm not, not in yep. front, so Sweet. we're good. Those are not, that's horrible, but not as bad. Okay, and then we've got cleanup crew. Each enemy SUV moves one space towards the nearest wreck, of which there are none. Well, there's one wreck. Oh yeah. Did we? Did we just? We uh, haven't done the sliding. Oh no! Yet. This is your turn. This is your. Yeah, turn. we okay. haven't done the. Uh, sweepers. Each enemy SUV moves towards the nearest wreck. Wow. Okay. Well, then there's something to do there. Interesting. That doesn't. Beat down each player vehicle with an enemy peg on top is dealt four. Okay, so that's nothing happened beyond that. That doesn't really help us moving them. No, further away. That's tank. bad news. That's really bad news, actually. Um, probably so bad that we're in oh. trouble. We probably need to get these tokens to, to save our bacon. Yeah. Because uh, I imagine we're going to need Scenario 3 to win this game. Uh, I think so. I mean, uh, not Scenario 3, but well, Level scenario, 3. It's next. Stunt yeah. 3 is next. Um, so I hurt something. I will try to do Anchors Away, right? On my turn. Yeah, you know what? Um, and that needs a, a wreck. What is it? Uh, Anchors away a wreck to the to the which tank adjacent to the to, to the wreck. So the condition is your player peg is on top of yeah, the tank. This ain't happening this which turn. Which is adjacent to a wreck. Oh, it needs to be adjacent to a wreck. Yeah, I will. I'm going to bump this. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to try to bump it. I can't. It's all that I can do is try. Again, it's my um, it's ramming. So that's speed. Ramming speed. Actually, what I need to do is force first, right? Again, it's four dice, so I'm okay. So first I'm going to force. So let's just see if I succeed. Uh, two successes. I have nothing to do that. Oh, I should have given you. No. Hold on to those for oh, okay. the important stuff. So that didn't happen. So I guess I'm just going to flip it now. I was hoping I could get it closer to you so that soon... Well, it's going to move four. Right? And it just needs to be adjacent. You go first the next time it's going to be in front of you. So now it's going to be, I'm going to try, <laughs> let's see if I succeed. I don't want you to waste any tokens. Again, I have four. I should be able to make it even though I didn't on the last one. So now I'm going to try to ram the SUV. Hey! Man, this is terrible. Mm. Okay, well that's that. I'm not going to get anything. So, exhausted turn. That mm. was really terrible. And I'm yeah. rolling four dice. I should be able to, I should be able to do better than that. Let's go with this. Hey, I'm going to get rammed. This will probably be the end of my car. So, I, I do have three defense. No, I only have two. Uh, it's, I keep thinking of when I have the van, which, or, or, I mean, excuse me, an SUV. So, I roll two to defend myself. Do you want to defend yourself more? No, save those. Save them. Hey! Two, you made it. I, no, I still take a damage. It's three oh, damage. One damage. Yeah. Then everything moves towards the active player. Hey, they're coming back, Nikki P. Oh, they are. So one, that's funny. one, one, and that's off. Okay, but it's going to go now. This turn will be gone. Yeah, it slides off, I think. Okie doke. So first thing is we do. It's the end of the turn. We This goes off the board. Okay. Mm -hmm. Never to damage anything again. And then 
any unmanned vehicles, which we have none right now. Mm -hmm. And then we move the stunt card. Well, at least you took care of that. Hopefully you can do anchors away before. Unfortunately, I need to go before you to hopefully damage that vehicle. Damage something, I don't know. And here is the level three. Okay, over the edge. Over the edge. Over the edge is send the tank off the road where it explodes, in, explodes into a ball of flames, okay? <laughs> this is gonna be tough. Condition. Your manned player vehicle and another manned player vehicle are directly beside the tank on the same side and there are no vehicles or wrecks between the road. Wow. You're gonna need to get on this vehicle if we're gonna do that. Or one of these vehicles and get Should immediately I adjacent. To we have several turns to make this happen. It's not impossible. We can make it happen this way because there's no vehicles there right now. That can always change. But let's see here. Um, on the same side of the vehicle and there's no vehicles between the tank and the other side of the road. Um, wow, but if you fail, it's four damage. Okay, the reward is you send the tank off the road and win. Okay, well, that's going to be tough, but we have several turns to do it. Not too many. Oh, and you, there's no... I guess you don't need it, because if you fulfill this, that's the end. Yeah, the downer is I don't think I'm going to be able to set you up for anchors away. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Well, should I leap into an SUV and take it over? Can If I do that, can... Can if we, we do make that, something happen? well, why don't you do that first? And then maybe I could just roll back and we could try to go for uh, over the edge right now. I do like stop hitting yourself, though. I know. <laughs> but I, I mean, these are, these are all situational, right? Whether it's going to actually work out that you can do it. So, yeah, you can, you can leap, too. Your, uh, your athletics are two. Two. So flip your, let's flip our boards over. Sure. But I do want to get this tank, uh, this wreck, this vehicle wrecked in front of it, and maybe it'll take it down one more damage. So I'll go first. I will, I'm going to do force first, which I still can do four. I haven't, uh, haven't it, lost my vehicle yet. Can it, how far back can it go? Well, my problem is, is I, I can take its place, what I'm planning on doing. I mean, it's still going to be within four. Mm -hmm. This is one, two, three, four, right? So no matter what, but what I plan on doing is, bumping it to here, and then taking its place so oh, that I can okay. still do the damage. It will just flip, right? It's not gonna, nothing's gonna it change. Move. It doesn't move. Cause I was like, wreck it. I know. And have it tumble backwards. Then I can do the anchors, anchors away. Uh, believe me, I know, I, I would love to. <laughs> it need, I needed to actually have some success in the previous yeah. round for anything to happen. So first I'm gonna try to force. What do you need to have? I need I need three successes. I don't think so I'm gonna make it. Are you sure? You wow, don't hey, there we go. No, I, I really don't want you to, but I succeeded. So there's okay. three. It'd be nice if I had. So this bumps it. And I'm going to go here. Now I need to do three successes to take this tank out. Uh, excuse me, take the SUV out for flipping it. Hey, I'm not even going to worry about it. That's four. So that flips it. That's the end of my turn. Okay. Um, now it's the enemy's turn. Correct. I was just thinking about your turn here. Uh -huh. So let's hope he doesn't move too much. That's that, that's the goal is that he doesn't move further south. But the reality is, even if he does, it's okay. Hey, he moves north one. That's still, he's in, he's in range. Okay. And. Yep, another one of these cards. So. This slides out. Yep. This one activates. Yep. And that is uh, the meat grinder again. Yeah, it's between so two vehicles. Each player adjacent to both the tank and the enemy, so we don't have that. Nope. Okay, so this goes out, and then, and then we, we get add a new this one. enemy. Tank repairs, ugh. Place an enemy peg on top of the tank. Oh, this is okay, because it has to go all the way to this position, but it means he could fix the tank. You could eat, you could I deal could with him too. fight with him if you want. I really think he should get on the vehicle. Okay. Because it's got to come several, I don't think we have that many turns left. Well, we could. We don't. We could. There's still one, two, three turns. Um, well, two and a half, because you get another turn here. Okay, place a repairman on there. The tank fires. Hey, that's me. Mm. Uh, within three spaces. Mm. Oh, wait, am I within mm. three? No, I'm not. Mm. Three. Wow, that's not shooting three very far. There. Okay, so I don't get hit. And then blockers place an enemy SUV directly in front of each player vehicle. Well, that that's potentially helpful. That's just this one then. Yep. Okay. Because you don't have a vehicle. Okay, so that's the end of that. Now it's your turn. Yay! Definitely take over that vehicle. I'm going to take or, over. No, you need to take it over. You need to be in the vehicle. So. You leap to the vehicle. First I have to leap. That's one action. Yep. 
Boom. Now you have to actually hijack. So now, that's athletics too. Athletics too. And I two. can't give you any help. Well, well, if I at least... I absolutely am going to take one of those tokens on the next round though. Let me move this out of the way. Wow, I'm not sure about Can all I this. Can I have a die? Yep. Or just take them all. Oh, I just well, I know. one. I know. And then hopefully if you get two successes, I get a and you two success, it. or I can yes. use that for it. Way, way you've been rolling. Hey, two. there's two. Way you've been rolling. You did have the last few rounds. You had Yay. a chance. Okay, so you're in the vehicle. I'm in so the vehicle. So take that, flip it over to the SUV. Yep. And the SUV, and I go to full health, and now I'm in the car. So my peg comes back to my board. Yep. Okay. That was my whole turn. End of your turn. So we do this oh. first. You're already exhausted. Hey, it moves north. north. It's gonna hit me. Boom, yeah. So that's gonna damage, deal da four damage. You can roll I got four, four dice to protect yourself. Well, Because go I for have it. an SUV now, so yep, it's actually it's, it's, tough. Yeah, it's not made out of aluminum cans anymore. Right. Okie dokie. Come on. Hey, that's a lot oh of successes. Oh my gosh. So you, you're not damaged. Although, you know, who cares, it's an SUV. It's not your SUV. Yeah, well, I'm I know you don't want to be jumping to another SUV in the last minute. Wasting turns, jumping around. Okay. This one goes away. Yep. And Cleanup crew. What does it say? Do. Each wreck adjacent to an enemy SUV is removed. Well, it's not there. Okay. Right. Wouldn't matter anyway. It's not going to help us. It's no longer in the what path of damage. Of course, we had to get one of the tanks moving. I was hoping it would move one down. We would have been good if it moved one down. Go ahead and flip it. Got to do that. Okay. Tank, Tank repairs. repairs. Another vehicle. Oh man, it's getting close. Okay, so another one of these is on the vehicle. Then what's the other things? There's more than just that happening. Oh wait, wait only you one. Can't, can't only go on one there. on yeah. one enemy vehicle. Then the tank fires. So each player vehicle within three I'm, spaces. You're, you're in. Oh no, you're adjacent. So we're okay. Next. Okay. Blockers. Then the blockers place an enemy SUV directly in front of each yeah, player that's only that vehicle. One. Okay, well that's the end of the round. Let's go back four here. It's actually staying in place. Cut, stop short of the tank. It is now, we do any uh, unmanned vehicles, which there are none. And then we get rid of the last, or not the last, but the one that's been on the board. Anchors away, which we missed. The shift. And we flip our boards. Oh, there's no more new stunt card to put out. And now it's our turn. Hmm. So I think I want to force it so I can get it in the way of the tank and get myself out of the way of trouble. Right, and then move back. Oh. Trouble. It means, oh no, but I guess at the end of this turn, this will wreck this. It'll clear yeah. anything out of the way. And we could potentially do this final last round. Maybe. Tank repairs is a problem, though, because it's going to happen. Oh well, yeah. no, not necessarily. There's there's a chance if this doesn't come up, we, we're okay. But if tank repairs comes, it moves this over to here, mm -hmm. and we're in trouble. Well, wait, I don't even know if we've ever done this. Uh, raise the strength by two. Wow. Okay. Well, that's yeah, real we bad. We don't want tank repairs. Yep. Uh, nothing we can do about it. Unless you want me to hop out and start no. beating this guy no, up. No. You you only have. Here's the deal. We don't have a lot more turns, yeah. so you need to get this out of the way so that I can get here and we can potentially make this happen. All right. So then I'm going to do a force, yep. and that is Three. control. So that's Oof, two. two. And I can't help you. Ooh, and you I need can't. three successes. I, I have... Yeah. I don't know. It's the best you can do. I wow. only have two dice to roll. So what was the d the other side had control on it? Control. That's Three. why yeah. I chose the car I did yeah. to give myself more control. Okay, okay, we'll roll it up. Well, this guy he has, he has three from the start, and that's nothing. Okay. Well, I still have my re -roll. skill re-roll one die. You need three. And though. I have this right. Okay, re-roll, re-roll this success. one then. Yeah. You need. The problem is you need a two. I need a. We'll roll it. You, it's free. I'll do the free. Yeah. I can use. Yeah, that this gives you three successes. Right? Yep. Yeah, go ahead and do it. That okay. means. You've got three. Wow, that's tough though. So that pushes it over here. Yeah, that's the force. Now you need, I... to, you, need to move, you need to move back. Back? Yeah. Uh, the problem is if he decides to move north one more time, we're in trouble, but that's what we're going to have to do. You don't want to take his place. I can only move into the vacated You could, place. but the problem is I need to be, I can't get behind you. Okay. So then I do a move action. Yep. And just uh, move Drive, one. actually. Yep. Okay. 
Done. Okay. Wow. So we need to roll this. Oh, hey, that's good. Okay. Does that mean he moves on your vehicle? Let's see here. Each enemy peg, peg player either damages a vehicle, dealing two, brawls with the player, or, or moves to the adjacent player vehicle. Oh my gosh, that's a miracle. We probably need that. So that puts him over to you. And stops the repairs from happening. Absolutely. If we have this come up, we're, we're okay in that regard. So you're done. It's now my turn. Um, basically, I feel like... Boy, it's a risk. So what's going to happen here is I need to be able to give you additional dice to roll. And then you need to keep that token to... Oof. It's well, tricky. I it's don't... the only thing we can do. So basically, I'm going to just move back five spaces. One, two, three, four. Well, four spaces. Then I'm going to take a token, and I am done. So the goal is, is I can... We, after this, you would go first. Okay, I'm exhausted. Yeah. But after this, I would go first and then give you... No, you would go first, and I would give you this to give you the extra dice. And then you have one to... Um, to pull it off, hopefully, you know, to change the results. Yeah. But it's the end of your turn, so. Right, well, the problem is, is he's probably gonna move right here. So, let's go. Hey, it's the guy again. So he's gonna deal damage. He deals two damage, you get to roll defense against it, you get two dice. No, defense, I get four. Oh, wow, okay, sweet, here it's you go. Control. It's control, I have control. a problem yeah, yeah. with. That's right. It's just a sloppy SUV. Although they sure seem to do amazing stuff in the movie, in the show. That's There's two. two, that's safe, you're good. Okay, good. So he doesn't he doesn't damage you anymore. Okay. Now it's end of turn, end of round. Yep. This wrecks this vehicle. Did did this wreck the vehicle? So that would move into that space. I guess it goes there, and this is out. Okay. You got a guy on your vehicle. He didn't wreck you. Um, any unmanned vehicles? There are none. Mm-hmm. And then move the stunt cards west. This is the final round. We did not get to stop hitting him no, ourselves. we didn't. Okay. It's now or never. It is it. This is the end. So I'm going to... You're going first. You have to go first. Okay. Well. Let... So you're going to do over the edge. That's all you can do. Over the edge. So here's... What Maybe it, you what can is do it? over it's the edge control. too. Yeah, I don't think so. I, I don't have... Um, if, unless that doesn't work for you, but then I have no way to, to, to do it. It's, it is control, correct? Mm -hmm. And control is where you're suffering. But mm -hmm. this is going to give you extra dice. So you get two dice. That's what you start with. Here's the other dice. I'm going to let you have an additional two dice. Okay. We need six successes. Because you're going to get three plus three. Oh, boy. Well, let me flip my board back over. So that's control of two, and you just did that, so it's an additional two. So Correct. four dice to roll for that. And you're gonna now. Where's that? You had oh, you have one token. It's one. Yeah. If you if it doesn't work for you, if it's if that's not gonna work. In other words, flipping the the uh, the um, boosts doesn't work for you. Then you need to save it for me to do it, and then I have to just do it naturally with my four dice that I have. Oh, I get to flip my card board over too with my four dice that I have for control. Okay. So we kind of do have two shots at it. Well, I also have my um, yeah, it's fixing. A skill roll. Yep, yep. I have a fix. Yep. Come on, just do them right now. Three. Three. And you need six, correct? <sighs> yeah. Okay, well, try re-rolling. Uh, it's still only going to give you five. Even if you were able to get Should a two on one of these. one of these? So that I can use Correct, but it's, it's not. You it's need not six. Enough. You need six. Um, so that didn't work, um, and your final action can be... <laughs> Take one of those. Yeah, I guess so. Yes. Yeah, it doesn't then help, Then I can though. give you more dice. <laughs> you can only give me two dice, I think. And I, I already have four, so mm -hmm. the maximum I'm getting is five. Uh, okay, it's my turn, and I think... I don't think we're going to make it. I'm, there's a chance. So I have a control of four. Wait, don't you want me to give you a... You do. It'll give me five dice. It's now still not going to be enough. Well, come on. But maybe, you never know. We maybe, need six. Maybe. We need six. That's a lot. I don't, I don't know that we're going to make it. And I have no way of adjusting it. Hey, there's a total get? of four. Ah. Okay, well, we did not make it. Mm. 
we immediately failed. Well, we didn't immediately fail, but I believe because so. it's the end of the round, we now do, oh, that's terrible. That is terrible. Do we do the enemy to see how? I, I believe so. Lost, it's, I mean, we have lost. I think we've lost, but let's just <laughs> let's end the round. All right. Okay. Hey, the guy deals two damage. Okay. Roll your. Uh, it's to block. Yeah. How many I do you get? get? Four. Four. Okay. I keep forgetting you get I'm four now. Defensive. Now that you're in the in the SUV. Oh, you didn't make it anyway. So what you take I two get? damage. One, two. Okay. Then. It's the end of the end round. End of the round. Yep. So. I know. Well, first things first is you move all the wrecks. Four. Okay. Um, then we move all unmanned vehicles, which there are none, and then the stunt card moves off. And we lose. Dun dun. Well, what Woo. do you think? That was tough. It is really tough. <sighs> and and I will say now, there's a chance we made some mistakes. Yeah. I really like this. And I like that they give us tools to try to maintain that, but we are terrible about flipping these boards. I know. And I'm not sure what we did on the video. I'm hoping everything's okay. Um, but I, I don't know. It's cool. Well, we played this once before, and, um, and the same exact scenario. And what's interesting is... Well, we had one of the designers we, helping us yeah. maintain what we're doing. Yes, so we did. We did not have that help this time. But what was interesting about that first scenario is we were not getting as many SUVs. We were not getting enough wrecks to hurt the tank. This time we played, we got a ton of SUVs, and we still didn't. And we came, the last I think game we had exactly we played, the same level of damage and everything. But we, we won the last one. Correct, because we, we were able to make that happen. SUVs to throw at the tank. So it's funny because we had more SUVs and we couldn't make it like a fast well win. if i just had one just one su to make that success so that car smashed into the tank it had brought it down and we had didn't i have five successes mm -hmm. or you would have had five successes yeah. i mean ugh it was close ultimately mm -hmm. i mean i do like that there's a chance mm -hmm. i like that you pick the player board the player and the car so we could have really mixed it up, but I was looking at the abilities and I wanted to, some of my character's abilities were pretty low, so I wanted to pick a car that would make up for those Counter problems. Counter that, yeah. Yeah. I like well, all of that. Dominic there, is not weak. He has some strong, he's fast. And he's got two defense. It's not so bad, right? Yeah. There is a lot, I would say, Control like you is, just said. Yeah, Control's the one weak spot, though. That's weird. Bookkeeping. Yeah. It's, it's not hard, though. I mean... It's not that complicated, it's just that you need to remember to do all of these elements. I really like that you're able to affect the other players. Like, So there is some s s potential mitigation of bad die rolls, of which I could not fix because we spent so yeah. many. But I felt in spending those, those were kind of like do or die type moves, you know what I mean? We would not have gotten the damage down to this far if, if we hadn't done that. But boy, it would have been nice if we could have just been one or two more. It, just one. One could have made it within reach, although we did exactly the same thing, six damage um, in the, uh, the live playthrough that we did. So I don't know. I, I really like it. I just, that, my brain is not really great at remembering each piece. And the two of us <laughs> manage, well, you know, it's a lot of little things. And we, yeah. we tend to do it in all, I mean, I, I suppose probably a lot of folks do it. It's just the, Scott's good about it. I know that Scott's really good mm -hmm. about remembering each piece to do on your turn. Um, and I was trying to make sure we did this because this helps, right? It definitely helps. It just, it feels almost like an end of round thing mm -hmm. when it isn't an end of round. And so that's okay. the one thing that I think messes with our brain where that we might have done something wrong. Right. I really hope we didn't. I hope so. Um, again, it, we're definitely giving the flavor of how the game works. But sure. I, I love, I love all the, like you said, having more, the more SUVs was great. There were so many available. There were so many, but it We had kinda... twice coming up behind the tank. Yeah. Although it only did one that one time, yeah. but um, that was amazing. Of course, they're in the behind it. Mm -hmm. I guess maybe what you do is you maneuver here and then attract them at the end of the round uh, when if there's a uh, the the uh, enemy SUV movement, which seems to be common. I wonder how yeah. many is there two on the dice? I don't yes, know. there are two. Two SUV movements on the. Yep. And then there's die? two tank movements or oh, two well, vehicle movements, go. big because this you know there's helicopter and a. a, a a truck, yeah. uh, semi moving DVDs or whatever, as it was in the first. Right, video, uh, I can show those things. Sure, sure. Um, when we're done. Okay. Talking. Um, but 
the one thing I thought was kind of funny is that we didn't seem to have as much um, uh, player peg, uh, enemy pegs. We didn't, did we? On this one. Yeah. I'm, I'm hoping we didn't foul anything up on that, but I don't think so. It's not really that complicated. They're basically, they don't come out of the vehicles when the vehicles are flipped. Mm -hmm. They only move, in that case, if that is there's one on top. Well, we were putting pe player pegs out on the enemy deck, so maybe we just didn't get the cards that do that. Right. Yeah, I mean, we definitely saw some things I didn't see in the previous play. I don't, I don't remember Meat Grinder, for sure. I don't know, remember Meat Grinder. Uh, but there's the two of them. Game. Cleanup Crew, Meat Grinder, Break Job, Rampage North, Rampage South. Place an enemy peg on top of each enemy. Yeah, there you go. On Those top are Rampage. of each yeah. enemy? Well, Rampage okay. North and South. Those are the ones we. I know we had South, yeah. at least in the so previous game. So you can get... Yeah. So it's cool that it, it, it really, that changes really it up. can change it up. Yeah. A lot. And I got to say that as a two-player game, it's fine. It feels like a real game. It doesn't feel like you're getting half a game or something oh, like that. Oh, not at all. I just would it's, like more people it's good. To, to try to have some successes. <laughs> yeah, but of course but that pushes it, it back. pushes yeah. it up. Yep. Uh, On the tank. We did okay. It was strength. just that, that one was just terrible. That yeah. really kind of hurt us. Yeah. Um, it would have been good to have that damaged vehicle. Well, there's a bit of luck. I oh, mean, my gosh. You Tremendous know. amount. And... They do a lot to help you in this manner. You yeah, know what I mean? Do. There are a good amount of successes. The ch the ability to f take the boost tokens. I never got to use my uh, I need NOS joke. I'm going for <laughs> miles an hour. But, um, but yeah, to be able to convert those is great. Well, the over the edge card is is a helper, yeah, actually. It's every It's going to be the final yeah. card in every game. I think it's... it it The designer said that it was put there so that there was always a hope, mm -hmm. right? Which is... You need it, because clearly yeah. we weren't going to make it. Uh, although we did pretty great. I mean, but that's one, two, three, four, five total damage. Five total damage. That's not a lot. Nope. I wish some of the cars that we left in its way or some action would do more than one damage. You got... Would be like two damages 33% chance that the truck, that the tank's going to move. Yeah. And it's hard to like... I was trying to like plan... Like, okay, let's make sure that it's there so that if it moves south, um, you know, because it isn't going to move any further. But, like, it, it didn't work out. We almost invariably got it pushed. It moved out of the way of that vehicle. You did a lot of damage in the beginning of, of the game, I believe. Mm -hmm. I, I can't remember anymore whether I did I was any. doing okay with the dice rolls. I didn't but... lose my vehicle. In the previous game, the vehicle was completely out of the picture pretty yeah. quick. It was, uh, it was, you know, like a uh, knife through butter for sure on the... Uh, on, on how much damage it and took. And I lost my vehicle on purpose because it got damaged so badly and there was a card that was just like, I know. let your car go, man, this is good. Yeah, it's very interesting. I like that, so I think we saw one of the cards that we didn't see in the previous game, because you're gonna see them all uh, that are in the deck. And we could have done the easy mode just to see all of them. Yeah. Um, it would have given us one more turn and we could have potentially, uh, is it right, Is it did it remove two cards, I think, for this? It, it, one from level one, one and, and one, one from, from level, level two. two. Yeah, if we'd done easy, we would have a couple more shots at oh, making okay. it happen. Um, and they'd be more some, some more stunts that we could have potentially done. I mean, I love them. I love the one that we didn't... There was a couple that we didn't really get to uh, do a shot at. Yeah. Anchors Away is pretty amazing. Yes, and then I tried. The, I was on the tank. The grappling hook is really cool, too. I mean, I would love to get that one to happen, too. Um, but Chain Reaction was the one I did, wasn't it? I think I was able to do that one. One of us did it. Mm -hmm. I, love did I love that. I love that. Somebody need to, did it. You basically, it seems like you're doing lots of setting up to get damage and maybe getting one. That's the problem because you have to roll that enemy die after every turn. I know. And so it, cha it changes. You have to do that going, though. And then it you have to moves. do that though, right? I mean, it's that horrible. makes the game interesting. But you definitely need to take advantage of these because these definitely deal damage if you're successful. And they're great. I mean, is there one that doesn't even deli deliver damage? Damage, damage. Oh, I don't know. Damage, damage. Hey, this one doesn't do it. But it could. This is the one um, grappling hook and then chain reaction. So they mostly do damage. If you're able to deal with them, and some of them have two. For example, grappling hook has two. Doesn't guarantee damage. But nope. stop hitting yourself guarantees two da uh, damage. <laughs> what are the other two? Uh, so one of them, which was cool, we did in the other game we played was the human catapult. Oh, yeah, that so was that fun. was out, and it didn't do. That's another no damage one, but it, it hurts other things. And then uh, oh, yeah, leapfrog. leapfrog. That deals da damage well. Mm -hmm. But you basically, to make it work, we need to do. Even with what we have, we need to we we need to have several turns where we do two damage. Mm -hmm. 
where it's this plus that. You need to have like, I don't know, a lot of them. And you have to you have to succeed in a damage every turn. And like you were saying, the previous game we played, we did not have as many SUVs to deal damage. So the the only way we could do it was with the uh, um, uh, over the edge. Right. I definitely I think it's cool. I really love the components. Um, and I, you know, I love cooperative games, so it's fun to actually have that happen where you're working together to try to make it work. Mm -hmm. I hope I didn't, like, um, do too much quarterbacking there to, for you, uh, you know. Yeah. But it's, some of it is you just can't, it's hard to see all the options mm -hmm. that you have, for sure. Well, there's so many. You're only choosing two, and there's so many you can do right here, and so many yeah. you can do right well, here. Well, and so what you see and tactically hopefully here. hopefully trying to get something for you to do, and well, it's definitely, a lot. There was definitely some setting up. That's yeah. the most painful stuff, is the setting up for a, the next player's turn and yeah. then having the die roll <laughs> yes. immediately mess with that. But I get, I mean, it makes sense, right? It's cars in motion. They're not going to stay that way. No. <laughs> it's just, the, the, the movement is, the, the tank movement is painful. It yeah. ultimately, it deals damage and it, uh, although it does take, it does take damage from hitting a, a, a wreck, which is yeah. pretty cool. Um, Boy, I wish we could have made that happen more. I know. Especially, it almost makes me feel like not to worry about putting damaged vehicles to the side of the, the tank. Mm -hmm. Because there's a good chance that it will move, 33% mm -hmm. chance that it will move into one of those a positions. Damage. And so you could just, as long as you're not behind those vehicles, because mm -hmm. you can damage it behind you. Right. You, know, you, can, you can do anything around it. You just have to be successful. And yeah. I, I, with my four die rolls that never went away, I was unable to completely make yes. that happen. Um, I was prepared to lose that from the, the get-go, and I did not. Because it's, I have lots of speed and I have lots of control, but I do not mm -hmm. have enough defense. And defense was ultimately not that big of a deal. And I, mm. I kind of feel like I shouldn't have spent that one token to, to slow this down. I, I said that, I think, when that happened, because it seemed like it was going to shift out of those first two positions pretty quickly anyway. Mm -hmm. But what that does is gives me an additional uh, uh, success every skill roll. As okay. long as it's in that range, but it's tough to stay in that range for very long. Mm hmm For sure. So your abilities and stuff, we can look at some of the other oh, abilities yeah. of the other players. Tej Parker. He has some additional tokens. I don't know what those tokens do. Can you pull those out? Maybe we can figure it out. Sure. Roman Pierce. Those are the them and then he's got these three wow look tokens. at the athletics on these guys three and three Bri I know. Brian maybe we should have used other guys that's his some yeah. tokens for him and whatever he does and he says well, let's see hack the system hack the system take a three Taj tokens Tej, okay Tej, take three Tej tokens at the start of the game on your turn you may discard a Tej token to take an extra action. Ooh. So you get three extra wow. actions right there with him. That's pretty phenomenal. Yeah, and then there's what is another. His, so he has, look at his defense too, it's three. So he's, yeah. now control, he's two. He's better than Dominic though. Man, maybe we should play with that guy. Right. Another shot at it right, right when we're done here. And then there's some other cars, so you can pair up some other. Okay, American Abilities Muscle, that would be stuff. Dominic's car normally, right? So that's two speed, no additional control. Wow, mm -hmm. one control for Dominic if you took that car. Yeah, weak. And then uh, two defense. Two defense is not bad. That's yeah. more than I had here Yeah. on my exotic supercar. What is its special ability? Man, vehicles, this, place, okay, yeah. Whenever you successfully ram an enemy SUV, you may move the resulting wreck into an empty adjacent space. Nice. So that could put it in front of the tank. Right. What is this one here? This, Head start. At the start of your turn, if your import racer is manned, you may move one space in any direction. Nice. Yeah. So that gives you one additional yeah. movement. So there's more... Wow, that would be huge too because People that's to me and that was two additional cars. That was to me the one thing that was challenging was like getting yourself set up mm -hmm. to make the move you to, to actually to have to do any kind of movement and maybe manipulation to get it in the right place. It was always right. too much. You need to be able to do those things together on a turn. And that was the one thing where you were short a little yeah. bit. I felt that was kind of not great because it ends up putting you too sort of far away to be you must move to be able to 
push the vehicle in front of the tank, then do that's mm. three actions. That's where this character might be really powerful. Yeah. Jeez. What do we got for the vehicles? I know then, that there's yeah, the one with the, we yeah, got a the truck. SUV. Yep. And it can it can uh, it actually has space for cargo. I do I and believe there there's cargo, cargo tokens, tokens, but you can put vehicles inside there. That could be an expansion where it drops out. I like vehicles that it opens. It's hilarious. Yep. Um, and and I, we, it's DVDs, which I don't remember that being in the movie. That was from the that first movie? they were taking DVDs. I don't know what, even what that was about. That and seems. then we got the helicopter, and it comes on this stand, and it also has Associated a Associated vehicle, yeah. So there's, in that scenario with the helicopter, you're fighting two enemies. Two enemy vehicles? Neat. Yeah. Yeah, this is cool. I really like how this works. It's all on a little... Yep ball joint there and then they all come with their an enemy board and a different well, for each of the scenarios. enemy pack and all, all right. those sorts of things well cool thanks for teaching nikki p you're welcome lincoln thank you for teaching too no problem and thanks to you for watching if you like this video hit the thumbs up button and consider subscribing to our channel if you click on the bell you get notified when we put up new videos see you next time bye